The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Last week, the snail processing plant opened in the village of Tilkani. The plant, the only one of its kind in the region, will process 1,000 tons of snails annually and export all of it to France. Timeo, the company to which the plant belongs, invested around 7 million gel. Today, the Tilkani snail processing plant employs 100 people, but this number is set to increase in the near future. What you're looking at now is the new snail processing plant located in the village Tsilkani of the Mskhetam Tianeti region. This place was empty three months ago. Neither plant nor heavy machinery and ironically no snails were present. There was nothing except for the idea. The idea that unified savvy youngsters with experienced business people. Together, this group of entrepreneurs turned the idea into reality and in just about three months, the Tsilkani snail processing plant became operational. In a glimpse of time, the executives of Timeo raised 7 million gel in investment, built a plant, launched heavy machinery, employed 100 people, and most importantly signed an export deal with the French company for the total production capacity. Today, the grand opening of Timeo's first snail processing plant, the goal of this plant is to process 1,000 tons of snails per year. This number is not too low, nor too high, so we plan to expand even more. The total investment for this project amounted to 7 million Georgian lari. This plant is fully export-oriented. We signed an agreement with our French partner, which happens to be the leading player on the market. The the contract we signed concerns total production capacity. Timeo is Georgia's true snail production pioneer. In fact, before Timeo, Georgia as a country had no license to export snail products to the European Union. Today, the situation is drastically different, and it is all due to the active participation of Timeo's executives, as well as the direct involvement of the Ministry of the Economy and Sustainable Development and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of the Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of the Economy and Sustainable Development played a crucial part in the process. Mr. Levan Davitashvili should be given credit for the fact that Georgia has a license to export snail products to the EU. Mr. Ilya Darciashvili and the Ministry of the Foreign Affairs are the people that helped us to connect with our French clients. It was very hard to explain that we, the company that became operational a few days ago, wanted to create a full-scale enterprise. They did not believe us before they saw it with their own eyes. The Georgian governmental agency Enterprise Georgia was actively involved in the process. Timeo utilized Enterprise Georgia's credit guarantee mechanism and received a 1.5 million gel loan as part of the program. Through Enterprise Georgia's support, another plant has been opened in village Ilkani. What you see is the snail processing factory that belongs to a company named Email, which utilizes Enterprise Georgia's credit guarantee mechanism. The company has received a 1.5 million lari loan as part of the program, while the government guaranteed its 80% through the mechanism. More than 65 projects have been financed by Enterprise Georgia in the Mtshetam Tianet region, with the total investment of of 200 million lari. Regarding the credit guarantee mechanism, there are more than 500 beneficiaries for which the state guaranteed more than 400 million lari. Today, the Tsilkani snail processing plant employs 100 people. Timeo is the pioneer and the flagman of the snail production in Georgia. There will be other companies too in the future, but today our company is a novelty. This processing plant has the necessary technology and certification to fully support the global snail market, which is quite niche. Our French partners visited Georgia and highly rated our processing plant. Today, the Tilkani processing plant produces not only snail meat but shells. The latter is a crucial product which constitutes 40% of the total production capacity. Interestingly, wild snails processed by Timeo are widely populated across the country. According to the ecologist Levan Mumladze, 20 tons of snails are available per square kilometer of land. Due to such availability, Timeo is collecting snails directly from the population. We specialize in processed. This way we are the middle line between suppliers and French customers. We produce twice boiled snail meat and sterilized shells. 
These products are exported to France to our partner who prepares snails according to his unique recipe. The Georgian snail production sector is very promising. To illustrate this, a single example is enough. Timo signed a deal with French partner Escal, with the latter intending to fully purchase its products. This business has potential. The market is very niche, but the product is expensive. So by producing something limited and exporting it, we bring several million euros to our country. This year we have 100 employees, but we want to increase this number in the future. Most most of our employees are refugees from the occupied territories. The idea of exporting Georgian snails as a delicacy first appeared in the 18th century when five French abbots visited Georgia. One of them, named Timeo, tasted Georgian snail and excited, decided to bring it to his homeland. The French enterprise did not succeed, but the idea is continued by the Georgian manufacturer of snail products, which symbolically is named after the French abbot. The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.